What's up, Pokemon fans? I'm Professor K, boy with Pokemon Evolutionaries, and we are back with more Hidden Fates. We've got 36 packs, an entire booster box of Hidden Fates here in front of us. I took four Elite Trainer boxes, opened up a few extra packs on Twitch here on our stream, and uh, as it turned out, one of these four boxes actually had 11 packs in it. Twitch chat can confirm uh, right there. <laughs> We had uh, 41 packs, so one of them, I don't know which one, but one of them actually did yield an extra pack, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, we didn't pull anything too major though, mainly it was just one shiny Magnemite, so hopefully the best is still here for everyone, not only currently watching on the Twitch stream, but also on YouTube as well. So hopefully you guys are excited for Hidden Fates. If you are, be sure to hit that like button right now and let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with the Legendary Birds. We're gonna see which pack art yields the best pulls overall so let's take a look and see what we get here now we've opened up a lot of this set already so really we're just going to focus on the um the reverse which could be the shiny the rare and that's it so uh, we've opened up so much of this set it doesn't make sense to go through one at a time really and you know do it that way but we got a shiny rock rough right there the blue pup is here. That is actually one of uh, one of my more uh, well-liked shinies of this era. So that's awesome. Um, let's see here. So we'll make a couple of stacks there to make it easier. Wigglytuff and Rock Ruff. We're sticking with the ups, apparently. <laughs> For the uh, first part of this, anyway. Giovanni's Exile is our reverse. Our rare is Kangaskhan. And that is all we have in that one. Gables, don't contradict. <laughs> I said nothing. Uh -huh. I totally... <laughs> oh, yeah. I totally manipulated everybody in chat to say that. 100%. You got me. Good job. Good job. <laughs> exposed all right next pack nothing we got magmar and wheezing so fairly quiet start for the birds it seems we got oh we got something big here we got something big what is it gonna be it's a Decidueye, shiny Decidueye GX. Very nice, very nice. Decidueye is uh, my second favorite evolved starter, and its shiny is equally as dope in my opinion. Both uh, Decidueye and uh, Greninja have very, very nice shinies. So that's awesome. Which would be cool to pull that one too, actually. All right, we got Onyx as our GX from the main set. And a shiny Wimpod as well. So that's three shinies, two half arts and one full art. Now, in the past, all of my better pulls have come from the Mew packs. So we're going to actually do that one last. We got a Type Null. I don't know if I've even... I may have only pulled like one of these in the past, but that is a type null shiny there. Wow, that's a cool one. Either I forgot about it or I just never pulled it. I don't remember either way. <laughs> um, yeah, I believe that was back to back to back. I'm pretty sure it was. If not, it was very close to that. And we've got another one. Swablu! Yo, the birds are coming through at the end with all of that. And we got a hollow as well uh, in a Misty's Water Command. So, the birds started out pretty strong, actually. Considering. Alright, those are their reverses. So, that's it for the birds. Let's see what Mewtwo has. Yeah, I think we might be on a streak right now. Could be. I think it's four in a row. Can we make it five? No. But we got a hollow, though. So that's something. We'll do this corner down here for that one. 
All right. Next pack from you two. Hidden Fates is a set that I don't know if I could ever get tired of opening. Fisherman! We got a Fisherman full art. Yeah, Hidden Fates is just, it's so well put together. It's got a nice rounded variation of, uh, of cards in the SV set. Um, Shining Fates, I feel like, kind of lacks in that department. Uh, it's not quite as robust. Speaking of robust, we got a Snorlax. <laughs> The timing of that was perfect. Um, but I just feel like overall there was a better selection of shinies in Shining Fate or Hidden Fates over Shining Fates. Or it could just be because it's the original. We've got a Charizard GX, but it's part of the main set. It's not part of the uh, the SV. So we, n we need the shiny one really to make it super exciting. But Charizard's still pretty cool. Although I think by now... A lot of people are about done with Charizard. <laughs> and we're not getting any relief because the next set that's coming out uh, in October is basically Charizard. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of Charizard in the next set. I think there's at least two different Charizards, if I'm not mistaken, that we already know about. Besides the base set, we also have Lance's Charizard in a box apparently as well. So yeah, Zard needs a vacation. We were doing really good. I felt like we had a nice streak where we didn't have Charizards, and then they just piled it on. So one day we'll get back to something more normal, perhaps, but it might be a little while. In the meantime, though, you know, pulling a Charizard here would still be nice. <laughs> We've done it twice, but it'd be really cool to see a third, and it's a lot harder to pull it out of uh, Hidden Fates as it is versus Shining Faith, I feel. And especially Champion's Path. Oh my gosh, Champion's Path, we pulled so many Charizards. Was it even funny? Pokemon Center Lady and Pinsir. Have that one. Main set and reverse. So Mewtwo is lacking severely. I think Mewtwo is going to lose this battle. There is. No shinies out of the Mewtwo pack so far. There still isn't. Clefairy, Clefable. That's it. No shinies out of Mewtwo packs whatsoever. But we did get something out of the SV set regardless. And that was the Fisherman. Yeah. j -Wolf, thanks for the 10 bits. Charizard is the most overrated Pokemon out of all of them. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Um, I don't mind Charizard as a Pokemon, but... Definitely overhyped, in my opinion, as well. Speaking of Charizard, that is going to be our next set. We're going to see if uh, Mew comes through at the end as being as the strongest out of all of them. Well, there's Bird Trio. <laughs> Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. That's out of the main set as well. I forgot the regular one was even in this. I pulled so many of the, uh, the Rainbow Rare. <laughs> For half a second, I forgot it even existed. Uh, let's see. We'll put that there. But yeah, definitely Mewtwo out of the running for this competition. We got Starmie and Ekans. Reverse. Shiny drought continues. All the shinies were in the uh, the bird pack so far. Oh, speaking of, there is the full art bird trio. Goes right along with it. There you go. That's a good pull. Very pretty cards, the, the bird trios. Definitely the better GX to pull out of the regular set than versus any of the other ones. Not just the full art, but all of them in general. Graveler and Erica's Hospitality. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know if the mic picked that up or not, but that was kind of loud. Groval, you're always getting blamed, that's why. I just looked over and saw Groval being blamed, so I figured I'd just join the bandwagon. They got a coughing and a Blaine's Last Stand. <clears throat> 
Still on a shiny drought, though. Still on a shiny drought. My goodness. That is crazy. They must all be with the Muse. There is only three Charizard packs left. Let's see. Yep, Eevee coughing. So there's a hollow and a reverse coughing. Sylvie, thanks for the resub for 21 months. Appreciate that. Farfetch'd and Erica's hospitality. Wow. It's a long time without shinies and a set that had very, very um, generous pull rates. Surprised we've gone this long without one. Last chance for Charizard and a shiny in here. There it is. We got a Ralts. Finally. That was almost a 20 pack streak, I think. Pretty close to it. But nowhere near enough to be as good as that set of uh, pack arts for sure. All right. So there, these over here. All right, I'm just gonna combine those because uh, this is the set to beat. Now, this is where the Mew pack art comes in. And let's see if it's as good as it always has been in the past. Let's go Mew. To start off with, nothing. <laughs> Weezing, Reverse, Psychic, and a Fairy Energy. RIP to the Fairy Energy. Um, that's a good question, Jables. I'm not sure how to do that, actually. Oh, here we go, here we go. We got the giant blue ball! <laughs> It's an Electro GX Shiny Giant Blue Ball. <laughs> oh, take that as you will. All right. <laughs> I can hear Jesus. We got a shiny Charmander. That's actually really good as well. Charmander is uh, one of the more sought after half art shinies to go along with the, uh, the Zard line. Back to back. See, here we go. We're picking up the pace again. We got another one. Alolan Vulpix shiny. So that's three in a row and a Jesse and James hollow to boot. There we go. Now we're talking. We got three shinies. We need at least two more half arts to tie and a couple of regular GXs as well. Here we go. Rainbow Rare. We got all three of the birds. We got the, the, the regular GX, we got the full art, and we got the Rainbow Rare. There we go. That's awesome. And then a shiny uh, reverse uh, energy as well. I don't know why I said shiny, but reverse energy. All right. Next up. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yo, you guys, this is great. We got a Gyarados GX. But now, we have a set of giant blue balls. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is too perfect. This is too perfect. Not in any other universe could this have possibly been more perfect. We've got a set of blue balls. <laughs> oh, giant at that. Oh my gosh. This is so good. This is too good. <laughs> I'm going to put them together because that's where they belong. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What are the odds? What are the odds? 
<sighs> I hope we don't get a third, because that would just be unnatural. <laughs> oh, that's a reverse. Okay. I think it's fair to say that the Mew Packs have been better. Pink Amanda Chu, just in time. Thank you very much for the Tier 1 resub for 14 months in a row. Right after we pulled two giant blue balls. <laughs> Never going to get tired of that. All right, two packs to go. We've got a Lucario. Full art, shiny as well. It's official. Mew is the goat. Mew's the goat. That is uh, definitely way better than any of the other pack arts. By far. Three full art shinies, two half art shinies, a rainbow rare, and a regular GX as well as a hollow. One more pack to go though. Is there anything in this one? No. We got a Brock, Pewter City Gym, and a Snorlax. But solid, solid way to end that one out for sure. So Mew takes the win on that one without a doubt. That was really, really good. All right, let me put all the hollows away because they were only going to be used as tiebreakers anyway. We've got regular GXs here. Let me get some sleeves for these bad boys here. All the shiny stuff. Lucario. And Electrode. Rainbow Birds. And then all the half art stuff. All right. So all in all, I would say for 36 packs, we did pretty good. We had a little bit of a dry spell there, I feel, um, between the two uh, Charizard and Mewtwo packs. But I had a feeling it might happen based on past experiences that uh, we would probably see a little bit of a dry spell, especially in the Charizard and Mewtwo pack arts, which seem to be always the lower end of the spectrum for some reason or another. I don't really know why that is, but it's just been that way consistently across pretty much all the hidden fates that I've opened with only a few deviations from that. So let's get a good look here at everything. All right. These are full arts, rainbow rares. Okay. So all in all, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven regular GX cards. We've got the one full art and the one rainbow rare. Then from the SV uh, set, we also have a full art fisherman, our half art shinies, which are seven. And then we have our full art shinies, which are four. Lucario, Decidueye, and two Electrode GXs. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> so, 36 packs. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 out of 36 packs had an, uh, a hit of some kind, whether that be from the main set or the SV set. Uh, just... Very nice overall. Very, very nice pull rates. Cannot be angry about that at all. Very, very nice. Um, and not to mention, too, we did have these from the uh, from the packs we opened off camera. So out of four booster box, four booster box, four elite trainer boxes, we had these two as well. So 40 packs, 41 packs, add an extra two to the total overall. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content. If you're watching on Twitch, thank you guys so much for continuing to support the subscriber streams. It means a lot that we're able to do this with you guys live, and it also helps us record at the same time. So thank you guys for doing that. And not to mention, if you watch on Twitch, you get to catch everything in between the video recording sessions, which usually is more worth it anyway. So <laughs> consider checking us out there if you're not already. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and have a great day.